Okay, today we're gonna go over how to make $1,000 in a weekend and turn like a $500 investment into like $1,000 of pure profit. Um, this is what we're gonna go over. So, as you know, I bought this 97 Toyota Tercel. It's a decent little car. I mean, especially with nowadays gas prices, like 170,000 miles on it. Um, I bought it with a Misfire Cylinder 1. I found out that it had low compression. And I bought this car and it came with the motor that's in it right now. So another motor that was from a junkyard out of a 95 Dracel. And it said, the guy told me I had 80,000 miles on it. I don't know, it, it runs good. So that was the old motor. So what happened is I ended up swapping the motors. So I had $500 into the car. I swapped motors, got it running good. I ended up putting a new clutch in while I was there. I ordered a turn signal for it and basically gonna vacuum and clean out the interior and yeah list it for like two grand so yeah it's the story of the Tracel. oh yeah that's another thing we got to do we're gonna get a battery for it too so we're not running the lawnmower battery <laughs> that was just for temporary use so we could move it around Okay, so I just wanted to dive into the, like the financial part of this car again. Um, so we spent 500 on the car. I'm gonna write that down. And that was including the new motor. Motor, which is risky. You never know if the new motor's fine. I mean, he said he was fine and I got it from a junkyard. But with risk, there comes reward, you know? Um, and usually the higher the risk, the higher for potential reward, not always, but also the higher for potential failure. Um, so, and then a hundred for the clutch kit, um, battery's gonna be like a hundred bucks. Turn signal, $20, I think. Um, that's smog, $8 for the certificate. So, so 728 It's gonna be our total. So just scratch this down real quick. We got 500 for the car with that came with the new motor, 100 for the clutch kit, 100 for battery, um, $20 for the turn signal, $8 for the smog certificate. And then I forgot, we also had an oil filter, so we're gonna add, and oil, so we're gonna add like another 20 by, just call it 750 total. So, um, this, I know this car was a little bit more risky. There's not like a lot of potential to make a lot of money on it, but I figured it'd still be a good, good job, fix up. Um, yeah, but this is, definitely something you want to look at before you buy a car because it's there's risks to it like you buying a non-running car i mean it ran so we drove it a little bit made sure the transmission was fine all that but there's always hidden hidden things like you never know if it has a burned up catalytic converter because it's been burning oil for the last 20 years but it's you just gotta weigh it out and see if the see if there's enough money to be made to make it worth it. And that's that's how I kind of go through it. I just jot it down, a piece of paper real quick. It's always better to overestimate than underestimate. And yeah. Okay, so after doing like a big job like this, I like to drive it around for like a couple hundred miles, you know, just drive it to work and back and over to friends' places, use it like a normal car, and um, then come back and rack it up and 
make sure there's no leaks and everything looks good before I get ready to sell it. So I'll bring you along. So here we go. Got, make sure there's no leaks from that oil pan. All looks dry. These axle seals, I'm gonna take those out, put new ones in. Always make sure you don't wanna pinch them. Um, these look good. Make sure there's no coolant coming out of the radiator. It's all good and dry. Yeah, so I'm gonna say it's good to go. Got good brakes left. I don't know if you can see in there the pad. Yeah. Um, yeah. All the CU boots are good. None of them are torn. Sling greaser. Yeah, so we're gonna get ready right and list this thing. Okay, so we got a good look under the car and everything looks good. We're gonna take a splash shield and put it back up on there. And get ready to go.